In this video, I'm going to give you my in-depth review of Resound Vivia hearing aids. Now, those of you who follow the channel may know that about a month ago, I talked through this big announcement from Resound. They were bringing out a new flagship product, the Resound Vivia, which I have in my ears now, that would replace the older Resound Nexia. And they had some exciting features on board, including a new AI chip. But at the time that I recorded that video, I had not yet put the product in my ears. Now, six weeks later, I've spent a lot of time in the product, traveled in it, spent time with family, friends, in background noise, and I'm ready to share my full review, what I think about Resound Vivia, some of the steps that it's taken forward. I'll show you the app, talk to you about some of the nuances, and overall, where I think this product now sits on the overall hearing health landscape. If we haven't yet met, my name is Blake Cadwell. I'm the co-founder at Soundly.com. We're one of the leading destinations for hearing health research and shopping in the United States. If you like what you see in this video, I'd appreciate it if you give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. It helps us reach more people. With that, let's dig in. All right, so we are talking about the Resound Vivia hearing aid. This is a receiver and canal device. The body sits behind the ear, a wire goes up over the top of the ear, and there's a speaker that plays sound into the ear. Before I dig into what's new, let me just give you some of the basics on this product. Resound hearing aids are prescription, meaning you'll find them at many or even most local clinics. If you call someone up in the phone book and you ask them if they have Resound hearing aids, there's a very good chance that they'll carry this product. Unlike over-the-counter products, you won't program your Resound hearing aids yourself. Instead, a local professional will program the devices to match your individual hearing loss. Because of that, they can fit a mild hearing loss all the way up to a severe or profound hearing loss. Just like most other prescription hearing hearing aid brands, Resound hearing aids vary in price based on your local market and the individual that you decide to receive care from. Typically, this product will cost somewhere between three and $6,000, depending on the individual that you work with. Now, Resound itself is a Danish company based in Copenhagen, and it's the fourth largest maker of hearing aids in the world. So a very respected company with decades long history. And as a fun fact, it was the first prescription hearing aid that I ever wore. So I always have a soft spot for this brand, and I'm always excited about the next thing that they roll out, because I can compare it back to that original set of devices that I I initially tried my first prescription pair. So as I mentioned about a month ago, we talked through the launch details of the Resound Vivia. And we talked about some of the tech and the specs and the improvements to sound processing and what was done under the hood to change this product. I'll link that video here if you want to go back and take a look. But what I'd like to focus on in this video are my firsthand reactions to some of the big changes that Resound has made through these new devices. And we'll start with the part of this new product that has gotten the most headlines, and that is the new approach to sound processing that now incorporates artificial intelligence. Now, there are a couple of other brands on the market that have been making a lot of noise around artificial intelligence for the last six months or so. And now Resound is clearly stepping into that same space. They added a second chip to their devices that's solely dedicated to AI sound processing. Now, I'm not an AI engineer, but I did get a chance to talk with the team about how they actually did this. So essentially what they told me is that they gathered over 13 million sound samples of different types of voices. So people shouting, whispering, speaking softly, speaking in noise, speaking over each other. And they fed all of these sound samples to the chip, which is on board these devices, and taught it to pick out what is speech and what is noise, to separate those, to clean up the speech, and then feed that speech into your ears as clear speech signal. Now, of course, all of this is happening instantaneously. So the way this actually works in practice is that every Resound Vivio wearer will have a basic automatic mode that they're in most of the time. That's the mode that I'm in right now. And that mode is not using a lot of artificial intelligence. So right now I'm hearing as I would expect to hear through a Resound pair of hearing aids. They sound a lot like Nexia or past generations of Resound tech, which does a lot to suppress background noise, but it's not using artificial intelligence. But this is where the new product gets really exciting. They've added a second mode called Intelligent Focus. And when I do a long press on the button inside these hearing aids, I can hear the mode shift and suddenly, as if it's a pair of noise canceling headphones, the sound, the background noise drops away. It's really quite dramatic. This is one of the things I immediately noticed when I put the product in my ears. I wasn't sure how much of this launch was marketing or if there was actually a major difference in the technology. And what I can tell you after putting this in my ears is once you go into the intelligent focus mode or the AI powered mode, you hear a dramatic difference in the amount of background noise. 
It's a very clean, very simple stream. I'm mostly just hearing voices. Now, of course, I'm in a quiet studio right now, but even the ambient sounds of a fan or little bits of noise around me drop away. This becomes especially dramatic when I'm in background noise. Last week, I went to a conference and I went to see a panel in the middle of the trade show floor. So you can imagine there are booths all around me and then there's a stage right in the middle of the trade show. And I was trying to focus in front of me and hear the speakers, but the noise was very aggressive all around me. So I put these devices into intelligent focus mode and I was just stunned by how much the background noise was dropping away and I was fully hearing what I was looking at. Now, I will say intelligent focus mode or the AI mode inside of Resound Vivia, just like some of the other AI powered hearing aids on the market like Phonax Fear Infinio has a sort of aggressive feeling. It's clearly dropping out background noise to such a degree that it almost feels unnatural. So last night I was wearing these hearing aids and I was talking to a neighbor. I had it in intelligent focus mode and it almost felt strange that I was hearing their voice so clearly, hearing so little of what was around me and it felt a little bit more manufactured. So I reached down and I used my app and I switched it back into automatic mode and I suddenly felt like it was a little bit more natural. So I left it that way the rest of the night. And it's been interesting as I've been wearing this product, I found myself going back and forth between between the two modes, mostly using automatic in my day-to-day -day experience so I can let in more of that ambient sound, but then turning on intelligent focus when I'm in a tougher background noise situation. If I'm at dinner or if my daughter is even across the room and I really wanna hear her voice, which is a little bit soft and maybe the water's running or something's on the stove. So all of this to say, what Resound promised in the launch of a new AI powered system seems to really be coming true. Is the intelligent focus the only way I wanna to listen to the world? No, but it's a pretty dynamic tool to help me get through some tougher situations. I'm really impressed. And importantly, I haven't experienced too many misfires. This is one of the things I've been really concerned about as more AI goes into our hearing aids, and that is that the hearing aids themselves could get confused and grab and isolate the wrong voice because most of the time I'm in an environment with multiple talkers. So far, these hearing aids have done a pretty good job of grabbing the right voice. And they're doing that using a combination of beam forming and head movements to try and triangulate. What am I looking at? Grabbing that sound, cleaning it up, and feeding it into my ear. So overall, I'm really impressed and I continue to be impressed about where AI is taking hearing aid tech. I can imagine three or four years down the road how much better all of this is going to get. And what I imagine will happen is that we'll probably see a blend between the intelligent focus mode of today and the automatic settings of today into some kind of middle ground where you don't really have to choose one path and instead you can blend them together and mix them a bit. Today, Resound needs to keep the chips and the experiences separate because of the way they consume battery life. But in the future, this is just going to become more and more advanced. Now, speaking of battery life, there are a few other things that I've noticed about this product right away, even as compared to some of the AI powered hearing aids on the market. Amazingly, Resound Vivia is just as small as Resound Nexia, which is actually the smallest rick on the market at this time. So if you compare this to any receiver and canal device, it's the smallest one. And I don't know how they did this because they added a second chip. So they added a large second chip that processes AI sound. They have their original chip. They still have the battery. And somehow this hearing aid still lasts 20 to 30 hours. If you don't use the AI mode at all and you stream only a couple of hours, it'll last all the way up to 30 hours. If you use the AI mode even for several hours a day, it'll last something more like 20 hours. I have not run out of battery as I've been recharging my hearing aids every single night. So if you're a student of the hearing health category, you've probably seen similar conversations around AI process sound around a very popular product called Phonax Sphere Infinio. So this is Phonax flagship, and they did the same thing. They added a second chip to process sound using artificial intelligence. And what I've noticed as I've spent time in both products is that in reality, you can hear that they're doing very similar things. I would put them on equal footing in terms of their total sound processing. It's possible that Resound has a little bit of an edge when it comes to steering the AI. What I mean by that is that I haven't found that it's grabbed the wrong voice. And that's something that I really appreciate about the Resound device. But in general, they're both doing very similar things on the AI front. Now, where Resound has an edge at the moment is that they've done all of this in a tiny hearing aid and they've kept battery life really long. Phonak had to make some trade-offs in those areas. I'm sure those trade-offs are things that they will fix in future generations, but if you put these two products head to head, you'll see that Resound has made some meaningful progress on sort of the overall aesthetics, the battery, the size, while also bringing AI into it. And perhaps that's just the second mover advantage. Phonak was the first one out with their product. Resound probably learned some things and was able to adapt it into their new product launch.
Outside of sound processing, one other big focus for Resound over the last couple of generations of hearing aid products has been connectivity. And specifically, Resound has been focused on AuraCast capabilities. Now, if you're not sure what AuraCast is, we did a whole video, which I'll link up here. But essentially, AuraCast is a technology we expect to roll out in public spaces and perhaps some consumer technology like televisions over the next five or six years. And what it enables is direct streaming into your audio devices. So in theory, once the technology is out in the world, inside of your television or at your train station or in your airport, you could stream directly into your hearing aids. Now at the conference that I was just at, I actually had a chance to listen to the live audio from the speaker on stage through the AuraCast stream. And the way you do this with the Resound hearing aids is that you simply open up your app. Inside your app, there is an AuraCast controller and you pick the AuraCast stream that you wanna to listen to. Now this is Resound making a bet on something that's coming in the future. Because if you look in your local area, the chances are there are very few venues that actually have AuraCast streaming available. But Resound is future-proofing their devices and building the infrastructure inside of their app to allow you to take part in this type of streaming experience. Interestingly, there's been an acceleration of adoption over the last few months as hardware makers have made the transmitters available. The Sydney Opera House and several other high profile venues have recently added Orcast. Something that I love that Resound is thinking about and doing, they're really leading the industry in this regard. Now, with all that being said, Resound, Phonak, and other hearing aids on the market do have a different sound signature. And this is where I start to feel like I'm talking about coffee tasting notes or wine tasting notes, because each one just sounds a little bit different. Their overall capacity and their ability to manage sudden sounds and background noise tends to be neck and neck in a lot of cases, but they have a different expression. Resound, I've always found to be brighter, crisper, clearer, and in some cases, it can even feel a little bit harsher. So if you're someone who's really sensitive to a sharpness or a crispness in the sound, Resound might be a harder hearing aid to get used to. Brands like Phonak and Signia have sort of a smoother, rounder sound that tends to be a bit less aggressive, but for folks who are looking for that extra bit of clarity, they tend to prefer Resound over Phonak Insignia. So these are trade-offs that really sit outside of the AI discussion or even outside of the feature discussion. These are sort of in the essence of how these hearing aids sound inside of your ears. With that being said though, if you're a Resound hearing aid wearer and you have Resound One or Resound Omnia or Resound Nexia, those are some of the past generations, the Resound Vivia is a meaningful step up. We don't say this about every upgrade. Sometimes hearing aid makers will bring out incremental changes to their older products, but Resound Vivia is not an incremental change. The intelligent focus mode is an actual tool that you do not have access to inside of Nexia, and it's a pretty impressive and powerful tool. And that's because Nexia doesn't have that second chip. So if you're thinking about getting Resound hearing aids or you have Resound hearing aids and you're thinking about upgrading, Vivia is probably a great time to jump into the Resound ecosystem. If you're interested in giving this product a try, drop down below. We have a list of our favorite providers of Resound Vivia and other hearing aids as well. I hope you found this review informative. If you have questions, feel free to head over to soundly.com. Our team would love to assist you. You can also drop down to the comments below. We'll do our best to respond quickly. Thanks for your time and good luck with your research.